Hi guys, it's Blakey for Shaman's Forge Bushcraft. With a little bit of an update, I did a video series about the tracker knife, the actual clone of the Tom Brown tracker knife. And I talked about how I liked it and liked the design. Well, I had made up a PVC knife sheath for it. And if you haven't seen that, refer back to that video. It'll be tracker knife design. And you'll see it. Now, all I did was took a pretty good size uh, piece of PVC pipe, got it hot with a heat gun, and then mashed it flat around the knife and formed a sheath for it. Poor man's Kydex, you know. And I liked it, but I didn't like the way it carried, to be honest with you. And I didn't like the way it looked, actually, the, the you know, the, the plasti-like look of it. So, I had to do something about that. And I have seen the carrying styles of sheaths that are available for it, and they range from pretty good to out there as far as I'm concerned. They're, it depends on the person who wants to carry what. You know, I don't like a lot of clutter on a knife sheath. I know a lot of people do. They want it to have all kinds of gadgets on it. I don't. I want a knife sheath to ride nice and slick on my side. I don't want a two by four strapped to my hip. Okay. So this is what I've done with that Tom Brown knife. Uh, design knife. Now this is the hunted knife, the Chinese ripoff. And all I've done is, as you can see in there, is I've taken the PVC sheath that I'd already made and I created a leather covering for the outside of it. A little bit of contact cement, a little bit of sewing along the edge, folded the lip over, put a lanyard through the original hole through it to hold it secure. And then here on the back I put a loop on it. Now I make a funny little loop that's kind of unique. I don't know if it's unique to me, but I haven't seen anybody else do this. And uh, it started out as an accident and I found it to be very useful in my woods work and I wanted to share it with you. Now all the loop is is a loop of leather that has been doubled over then it has been sewed together through both layers through the sheath here. But only one layer, the back layer, has been sewed to the sheath there at the top. This makes for three different carry loops. As you can see, I've got a D-ring on here. And by adding a cabiner to that, it becomes a dangler sheath. So I can just clip it on and off real quick, depending on what I'm doing. Now in a boat, like I said, I've been using this for cleaning fish. This has become my favorite way to carry it on a boat because I can clip it to my belt on the offside and it moves as I move around the boat and it gets out of the way. It's not rigid on my hip sitting on a boat seat. It also is quick and easy to take off. Now, the D-ring falls down and lays flat whenever you're carrying it by the loops. The outer part of that loop, see, is kind of loose. And I want that. I want it to be a little bit flexible so that when I sit down in a truck, it rides up. Whenever I sit down beside a campfire, it rides up or it moves out of the way, so I can cant it a little bit. The back part of the loop back here, as you can see, is also accessible, but it's tight sewed this way. Again, it's just simply a loop, sewed all the way through here, sewed in here, forming a loose outer loop and a tight inner loop. That gives me the option of putting the knife very tightly against me. And I do that a lot when I'm hunting because I'm going to be moving and I don't want any excess noise. So the knife will ride nice and tight against my hip and not move around at all. Won't be comfortable to sit down with it, but it will hold it tight where it doesn't flop or rattle. Okay? But other than that, that's the same knife I showed in my videos. It's just blued stainless. And yes, I am going to do a video on how to blue stainless steel. So you can darken up your blade as well. I don't like shiny blades out in the woods. Um, it attracts too much attention. I mean, I don't want to spook game. I don't want to, you know, whatever. And I guess it's because I'm coming from a muzzle-loading background and a being poor background that we didn't want anything that rattled or anything that was shiny on our guns or any of our accoutrements so it wouldn't spook game. And so I'm just kind of old school that way. Hope this gives you some ideas, guys. Please leave any questions or comments in the uh, comment box. I'm Blackie for Shaman's Forge Bushcraft, wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.